<laughs> and Rosa's book deal has set us make a shit ton of money. Mm-hmm. That's right, two million in pre-sales and I'm up to my tits in money. <laughs> uh, first there was Fire and Fury, oh, yeah. then there was Sean Spicer's dumb ass book, and now Amorosa's unhinged. I mean, guys, these t- White All House tell-alls are like a golden goose. <laughs> I know, right? I know, right? But instead of laying golden eggs, they're laying hot fucking white money. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Damn. Any asshole who comes out of the White House and wants to do a tell-all book means we are set for it. <laughs> hey, hey, I heard the groundskeeper's about to retire. New book title, guys. Unhedged. With that said, I think I'm about ready to buy a second yacht. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Oh, fellas. Oh. Let's go to the restaurant across the street and beat dicks to the waiting staff to celebrate. Sounds fucking Sounds good. Sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Rick. Rick, man, you coming? What happened to us, Murphy? <laughs> <laughs> we used to be about... So much more than this. What are you talking about? Sam, it used to be about the books. <laughs> but now you care about your fucking money. Hey, hey, watch it. You're doing okay. Am I? Stuck in a loveless marriage and dreading work each day? But I got money. I got a boatload of money. Yeah, t- take it easy, Rick. Hey, what, what's this? Just something I picked up and picked up in stores the other day, taking a stroll down memory lane. Holy shit! The Littlest Piglet? This is our first publication! Yeah. When it was just you, me, a printer, and a whole bunch of dreams. <laughs> oh, come on, Rick. Don't tell me you want to go back to those days. You know, when we were making peanuts, selling just a couple of children's books. We sold barely a hundred copies. But each one of those hundred copies went to a child that needed it. And then you got the rights to print Fire and Fury. I don't know how you drove to work that day. Hey, with all those dollar signs in your eyes. That's not fair. <laughs> fair? Fair? I built this company from the ground up with you, and now what we do is hot cheesy White House trash. You hey. call that fair? Hey, don't act like I didn't sacrifice. Sure, it was fun. Living in a one bedroom apartment, getting high, and publish, publishing books. <laughs> but sometimes you just gotta, gotta grow up. The littlest piglet wanted to grow up. (laughs) He wanted to be just like those big fat piglets because he thought they were so cool. Damn it, Rick, I know what you're doing. So he ate and he ate, (laughs) trying to be something that he wasn't. Stop, Rick, please. (laughs) Until he found out what he knew the whole time. It's okay to be the littlest piglet, as long as you're okay. Being the littlest piglet. But you're just a big fat fucking piglet now. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> yeah, shut it down. Shut it down, yeah! We're not printing any more copies of Amorosa's Unhinged. Mm-hmm. I said get it done! And this is your last day. Yeah, tell all the workers they can go home. They'll be finding new work. This is a two-man operation again. Click. (laughs) Murphy. I don't know what to say. Woe be to the farmer that declares that the littlest pig can't do the biggest things. I fucking love you, man. We're gonna do important work. Excuse me. What? Is this the place where they publish White House tell-alls? Because I've got a dizzy. <laughs> Holy shit, we're gonna make fucking billions! <laughs>